Some 75,000 cheering football fans will pack the Superdome tomorrow for Super Bowl 47. More than seven years ago, that stadium was a scene of misery. For one week in 2005, just after Hurricane Katrina, thousands of victims took shelter inside. Mark Strassman shows us how the Superdome became a moment of triumph since the city's darkest hour. You see the, all the light trusses? Doug Thornton's throwing a party here tomorrow for 75,000 people. Those box trusses that you see up there contain intelligent lighting that will uh, be used for a th theatrical effect during the halftime show. Thornton, the Superdome's general manager, will oversee Super Bowl 47. But he saw only ruin here back in August of 2005. And you remember looking up and seeing sky through holes in the roof. What's so remarkable about this is that it's actually a better place, a much better place. When I left here after Katrina, um, I thought I was seeing the Superdome for the last time. I did not think we'd be able to rebuild it, and certainly I never thought we'd be hosting another Super Bowl here. After Katrina, the Superdome became a symbol of failure and despair. 20,000 refugees lived here for one miserable week without power, water, or sanitation. Three years ago, Thornton showed us it was almost worse than any of them knew. Part of the Superdome's Katrina story is right on this wall. I told our guys they can never paint this wall because this is a living history to what happened here on that, on that night. These marks in the building's lower levels showed the flood water rose within eight inches of shorting out the facility's emergency generators. Our plan was if this water rose any more than four to five inches in a half hour span, we were going to go to a plan B and try to get people out of here. Fast forward almost eight years to the rebuilt, renamed Mercedes-Benz Superdome. You can't drive anywhere without seeing it. You can't go to an event in the city without coming here. It was the first major large project that was finished after Katrina and uh, after all the bad things that took place here and what it symbolized during that period of of misery, it represents all the good now. $336 million later, the Superdome has a new roof, a new exterior skin, and thousands of new seats. The Super Bowl is so important to New Orleans as we try to rebuild this city. Retired Saints quarterback Archie Manning is this city's favorite adopted son. In 1975, he completed the very first pass in the Superdome during an exhibition game and says rebuilding this facility was important for many reasons. The fans were going to come back here and then a football team got better and it just the whole thing helped with everybody's the emotional recovery as we tried to physically rebuild our city too. Seeing the dome rebuilt was reassuring. Absolutely. It was a, it was a huge part of it. Baltimore and San Francisco will take the field here tomorrow, but New Orleans and its Superdome have already won Super Bowl 47. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, New Orleans.